Oh yeah, it's breakfast time. <laughs> good morning in the Deets household. Huh, El? Are you eating like a good girl? Yeah, good job. Breakfast in the gym, right? That's right. That's what's going on over here, and thanks for watching. We'll talk to you guys soon. All right, well, it is a pretty much a work day for me today. I gotta finish all the year-end accounting so that any kind of credit card things get go through before the end of the year. Elle's sitting here watching a movie, and I'm headed out right now to go handle that. Uh, this afternoon, we're headed up to some little like farm play thing that she's gonna really enjoy, uh, but beyond that, I'm pretty much just gonna be working today. Um, I'm sure we'll make a good time out of this afternoon though, so uh, that's what's going on right now and uh, we'll check in with you guys soon. What else are you What do you think, Ellie? Like, what do you think? What do you think of what they are? What do you think of that smell, Ellie? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> it's right. Yeah. It's lunch time. She loves me. Yeah, baby? What does the horsey say that we saw? Yeah. Yes! And what did the cow say? What did the cow say? Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Do you remember what? <laughs> Elephant. Okay. What did the pig say? Do you remember that? Oink, 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 oink. <laughs> So today has quickly turned into a work day. Man, oh man, this year in accounting is killing me this year and uh, me no likey. So I'm heading out. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of the town before it gets dark. I think I got maybe a half of an hour left before it gets too dark. But anyway, I'm, I'm headed out. I'm gonna show you some of the old spots, like an old park we used to go play at all the time right around the corner from my house. I'm gonna show you um, the house I grew up in most of my life and then we moved here to the house we're at right now and I have since moved on from this town, but I thought it'd be kind of cool to show you guys some of the uh, Places that I spent some of my life. So let's go. Let's check it out This is a little park that I used to go and play at just around the corner from my house It's not too big, you know, it's kind of nice when you have these little things here in the neighborhood that kids can come and play at and your parents don't have to worry about you being too far away no main streets that you're gonna be hurt running in you know or riding your bike in pretty cool this really is a great town you know uh, growing up you got all the sports little kids need the bambino leagues and soccer and all that stuff and it's really no different than any other town you know you got a little community here of friends and the kids end up doing all the same stuff together and they get you know friendships built there so in terms of growing up really it was a great place to grow up uh, personally for me I just wanted to try something new and move somewhere new and you know after college I went to Sonoma State at college and got away there and kind of opened my mind up to living in a different part of California and then again moved down to San Diego kind of fell in love with that so I've really lived all over California but the Central Valley is a really great uh, place to live you know oh wow totally different color that is the jam wow so this is the house I grew up in really cool my dad actually my dad actually designed this house and he built it and it was pretty modern <laughs> design for Fresno but uh, it's pretty cool man we moved out of this thing when I was maybe 10 years old and it used to be gray but now it's they've painted it brown which is pretty nice I think so behind the garage is a pool and you know there's like a fort and all that stuff we'd make behind there and then there's the lawn on this side behind the behind the house over there and uh, a lot of great a lot of great memories on the street man we uh, would you know do race our bikes up and down the street and um, my best friend growing up lived in the house next door and that was cool because he had a steep driveway so we'd always uh, take our motor or uh, skateboards down the hill there was a guy who lived up in this side of the street 
that had a uh, black Mustang and he would go blowing up and down the street and I was a little kid you know so I was really scared and there was a guy up, up at this uh, you know cul-de-sac up here that had a Doberman who actually bit my arm when I was a kid and I had a big fear of dogs for a long time after that but um, some good memories man you know playing games in the street and it's a really quiet street dead end so you know it wasn't a lot of through traffic and everything so this was a really cool street to grow up man a lot of great memories um, Long's a, 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 a drugstore is just right up here at the end of the street right there just over is now a Long's it used to be thrifties and if anybody who's from California knows about thrifties man they had the best ice cream of all time and my brother and I were allowed to walk up the street, go to Thrifty's and get ice cream and come back, uh, which was a big deal, you know, being able to be on your own and go to the Thrifty's and get an ice cream. So, some good memories there, man. It's it's cool. Bazooka Joe was really big too. I remember I used to always want to spend my money on on Bazooka Joe. So, some good times were had at this uh, at this spot right here for sure. Okay, headed back to the house. Everyone is playing games apparently, and I don't want to miss out on that. Uh, dinner's coming up too, so I think it's probably time for a frosty beverage and relaxation. So let's go check in with the fam and uh, see what little cute Elia is doing. Good morning. Step two, our journey home. <laughs> we are on our second plane heading out. We've got another three hours and we're home. We have fun. Can't wait to get home. All right, so we are finally back, done flying for a couple of months, which is a good thing, it's a long flight. Um, and we are on our way to pick up our dog, Brock. So we're so excited to see him. We're tired, obviously, given my appearance, um, but we can't wait to have him home. Um, unfortunately, I don't know if you can see, but when we came home, Somebody blew out a window. Yeah, so we don't know if it was a person, but it's pretty um, pretty scratched up and cracked. So we're going to have to replace that. So that's really not a fun way to come home after Christmas, especially when you've already spent tons of money on gifts. So that's a bummer, but what can you do? So we just finally got Brock. Got a pump so back. He's here. Puppy, can you say hi? Can you say hello? <laughs> A lot of this going on this afternoon. Well, what does that look like? Elia made it snow again. <laughs> oh, snowing. Elia, are you making it snow? Snowing? Yeah. Say, say, say. <laughs> Is that flour? There you go. making it snow with flour? Yes. Okay, oh. Now she's 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 big spoons. Big spoons. I think big spoons for that and... Ooh, Are you helping? Butter and honey and Ellie, can you say helping? You could purely just film what your mom's cooking all day and that would be enough content. Yeah, talk to me. What do we got? We're making homemade chili. Yeah. The best chili in the USA. That's oh what it's called. Oh my calls. goodness. Right? It's truly great. Wow. And Homemade cornbread. Don't buy it. This mix. looks legit. Oh, yeah. It That's is. the cornbread? I guess I can just show your followers. Look how we dapper Mr. Bobby is looking today. He is looking like, he's looking like a Snowden cabin dream. It was like a work day, so I had to get, you know, oh, yes. fancy. This is a real nice color right here. Oh. Oh, oh. look at that facial hair. Oh, God. Looking good. Big, yeah. And one, two, three, and down. And down. Yeah. 